Good afternoon, good afternoon. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. As usual, I'm delighted to greet you in the matches and powerful name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus the Christ. Happy Thursday, everybody. Can you believe that we are at the last day, I think, of this month? Let me just see. Um, I think this is the last day of the month. And we give God praise, honor, and glory. Let me just see. Um, take a look here. Yeah, today is the last day of November. So we thank God for bringing us to the 11th month of the year. Um, how is everybody? Hope everybody's doing well. Let me thank those of you who joined us for Bible study on last night. We had a wonderful Bible study. We're studying in the book of Revelation. You can feel free to join us if you don't have the prompts. Just see um, Kimberly or call the church office. We'll see that you get them. Also, um, we are studying, as I said, the book of Revelation, and we have um, study guides. They're only $5. They actually cost me about eight or nine, but I'm selling them for just $5. And so please feel free to um, get a book and to join us um, because we know that the grass withers and the flower fadeth, but the word of our God shall stand forever. Then, of course, we look for you to join us on Sunday. Sunday is the first Sunday in Advent. I want to talk this Sunday as the Lord shall guide about an Advent breakthrough. And we are looking at the words of Christmas, and the first word for Advent Sunday is hope. I don't know about you, but my hope is built on nothing less than Jesus' blood and righteousness. I dare not trust the sweeter frame but wholly lean on Jesus' name. On Christ the solid rock we stand, all other ground is sinking sand. Also, we want to wish happy birthday um, to Joan. Joan has so many last names. Joan Hernandez. Um, now she has Joan Smiley. Anyway, today is Joan's birthday. She's relocated to Atlanta, but she's so supportive of the church. I think she's here more than she is in Atlanta. So Joan, we want to say happy birthday and we wish you many, many more. Um, let's see. I think that's pretty much what we have. Also, we're getting ready for our Christmas concert, which will be Sunday, December the 17th. If you want to join us for that. Um, our concert is the joy of Christmas, the joy of Christmas, a Christmas musical um, extravaganza, the joy of Christmas. And so Hope that you're looking to join us. Tickets are only $20. You'll be serenaded with wonderful Christmas music as well as a wonderful meal. All right, um, so let's plan to do that as well. And I think that's pretty much what we have for now. Of course, I need you to really press your way um, to the house of worship. But we, we need to get more bodies in the pew. I mean, you know, we cannot do incarnational ministry from the, what I call the Bedside Baptist Church. So if you're able-bodied and you can get here, we would love to see you. Of course, for those who can't, you know, we have our live streaming um, services and we're delighted to see you there. All right, let's get ready to go to the Word. Um, as you know, we've been, oops, let's see here what happened. I lost you. Let me see if I can find you. Oh, boy, I ended the video. Let's see. What happened? What did, oh, there we are. There we are. Okay. I lost you for a minute. Okay, here we are. All right. Um, as you know, we're doing um, First Thessalonians, and we will end Paul's first letter to the church at Thessalonica. We're in First Thessalonians chapter 5, and we're now coming to the close of this letter all right, as we promised on yesterday, um, Paul opens this chapter by encouraging those um, to love the Lord. He then say that we need to be ready when God comes. He says, you brothers and sisters are not in darkness so that when the Lord comes, he nobody knows the day or the hour. He'll come like a thief in the night. So when people say that these are the last day that the Lord is coming, they don't know because he's going to come and no man knows the day or the hour. But he says that those of us who walk in the light, it doesn't really matter because we'll be ready because we walk in the light of Jesus Christ and we belong to the day. He says, so we need to be sober, put it on faith, faith and love as the breastplate, breastplate and hope 
and the hope of salvation as our helmet. For God did not appoint us to suffer wrath, but to receive salvation through our Lord Jesus Christ. He says, therefore encourage one another and build each other up just in fact, as he says, that he realized that the church is doing now. Let's come to closure now. I'm at verse 12, 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, commencing with verse 12. He says, now we ask you, brothers and sisters, to acknowledge those who work hard amongst you, who care for you in the Lord, and who admonish you. Hide them in the highest regard and love because of their work. In other words, the people who teach, your pastor, your deacons, your spiritual leaders, your parents, you know, hold them in high regard, he says. Um, and then he goes on to say, live in peace with each other. Let's try to get along. There's so much unrest in the world today. Turn on the news and you see what's happening um, in the Middle East. It breaks our hearts. He says, and we urge you, brothers and sisters, Warn those who are idle and disrupted. Encourage the disheartened. Help the weak. Be patient with everyone. So let's warn people who are doing nothing and who are causing disruption that the time is coming. We used to sing a song, get right with God and do it now. Get right with God and he will show you how. Make sure that nobody pays back wrong for wrong but always strive to do what is good for each other and for everyone else. Rejoice always, pray continuously, give thanks in all circumstances, for this is the will of God for you in Christ Jesus. Do not quench the spirit. Do not do things that would hinder the Holy Spirit. Do not treat Prophecies with contempt. When people tell you, when the man of God, the woman of God tell you, do not become angry, but test them all. Hold on to what is good. Reject every kind of evil. If it's negative, if it's not right, if it's evil, if it's not of God, reject it. And then he says, may God himself, the God of peace, sanctify you through and through. May your whole spirit, soul, and body be kept blameless at the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. The one who calls you is faithful, and he will do it. Brothers and sisters, he says, pray for us. That's the apostle, and he's also including his son Timothy and others who labor with him in the gospel. Greet all God's people with a holy kiss. I charge you before the Lord to have this letter read to all the brothers and sisters. And finally, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you. We have concluded Paul's first letter to the church at Thessalonica. This is the word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. Let's hide God's word in our heart that we may not sin against him. All right, let me go ahead and greet some of you. Thank you for joining me. Tawana, Jamad, how are you? Thank you for your faithfulness. Joan, happy birthday again. Okay, Sister Anna Mid, how are you? Um, Maxine, good to see you. Let's see, um, Carmen, how are you? Good to see you. Ruby Ramsey, good to see you. Sister Virginia Chainer, thank you. Mary Lawrence. Thank you for being with us. Good to see you. Wanda Roberts, Sharita Bryant, how are you? Thank you for joining. Sister Phyllis Laria, um, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Good to see each and every one of you. Let's go to the Lord in prayer. Dear God, for this time together, we give you thanks. We thank you that the grass withers and the flower fade, but the word of our God shall stand forever. Now, God, I pray for each person and the sound of my voice. You know more what to give us than we know what to ask for. So give us according to your riches and glory. Pray for those that are sick and shut in, those that send to the church and say, pray for me. Remember Deacon Dowling who's in hospital. Remember those that are in nursing homes. Remember Mr. Harry Boswain. 
Pray for Joseph Reeves, who says, pray for me. Pray for Sister Bernice Wharton's family, her niece is undergoing surgery to do bone marrow transplant for her father. And we pray for him, oh God, that you will touch, heal, and deliver. Be in the operating room even right now, because we know that you're able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we're able to ask or think. We thank you for this time together. Thank you for the opportunity to study your word. Thank you for this Advent season where we usher in your unspeakable gift, Jesus the Christ. Now, God, hear our prayer. Incline your ear to us. It's in the matchless and powerful name of Jesus the Christ we pray. Amen. Well, God bless you. It's been my pleasure to be with you today. Um, we'll look for you tomorrow. And I think what we're going to do is going to stay with Thessalonians. Paul writes two letters to the church at Thessalonica. And so tomorrow we'll look at 2 Thessalonians chapter 1. 2 Thessalonians chapter 1. God bless you. I hope that this time together has been a blessing to you as you allow God's word to be your GPS system. Let's try to love one another as Christ has loved us. Be kind one to another. Let somebody know that Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. All right. Um, please, I ask you to support this ministry if you can. So please feel free um, to give. You can Zell. You can use PushPay. You can mail it in. Plant a seed in this ministry as we have so much work to do. And we want to share God's love in a tangible way with our brothers and sisters around the world. All right. So glad to be with you. Let's receive the benediction. Now may the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord lift up the light of his countenance. May he grant you his peace and his love. And you're going in and you're going out. You're down, sitting, and you're uprising until we shall stand in his presence through Jesus the Christ, to whom be glory, majesty, dominion, and power, both now and forever. Amen. God bless you. I look to see you tomorrow. All right. Let's see. Did I miss anybody? Did I give everybody a shout out? I think we did. I think we did. Oh, Sister Mary Lawrence, good to see Sister Ruby Ramsey, good to see you. Brother Richard Fagan, good to see you. Sister Tom George, thank you so much. God bless you. Join us tomorrow. I try to get on as close to 12 as possible. So just be right there. Then share this link with somebody else. And let them know that we are moving forward in the joy of the Lord. For the joy of the Lord is our strength. God bless you. Have a wonderful day.